If you use these three tools, you'll cut footage in Final Cut Pro three times faster. One of the great things about Final Cut is how fast you can edit with the magnetic timeline and built-in tools. It's a lot faster to cut projects than other wimpy software. I'm looking at you, Premiere. In this video, I'll share the three essential tools you'd be a fool not to use and along the way, I'll reveal 15 keyboard shortcuts that will shave hours off your next project. And at the end, I'll show you a trick to fine tune your edits and cuts in just three clicks. So the first essential tool is the trim tool. You can activate it by selecting it from the tool pop-up menu or just pressing T. Now you can shift the media in your clip left and right. If you go between two clips, you can change the end and start points of the two clips without changing the overall length. The time code that pops up while moving shows how many frames and seconds of change you've made. The next tips trim clips, but will work with any tool selected. Press A to go back to the select tool and then hover over the end edge of a clip until you get this trim edge icon. Click and drag left or right to change the end point of the clip. The pop-up shows the current time code on the left and the change in seconds and frames on the right. When it becomes red, you've reached the start or end of available media in the clip. Trim the end of your clip and then do the same for the start. Turn on skimming by pressing S. Now you can skim the timeline and this red line indicates where you're skimming. Skim around the beginning of your clip where you want it to start and then choose trim, trim start or press option left bracket. Next, skim to where you want the clip to end and choose trim, trim end, or even better, press option right bracket. These trim your clips quickly and I use these shortcuts all the time. I really like to use them during playback and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. You can also trim the start and end points with your playhead. Move your playhead where you want the clip to start, then choose trim, trim to playhead, or press option, backslash. This will trim the start or end of your clip to your playhead depending on which side it's closer to. This shortcut will trim to your skimming playhead over the project playhead if both are visible in the timeline. Select a start or end point of a clip by hovering over it and clicking. Move your skimming playhead to where you want to trim and then choose trim, extend edit, or press shift X. The second essential tool is the range tool and you can activate it by selecting it from the tool pop-up menu or just pressing R. Now click and drag on a clip to select a section or range. You can also change the selection endpoint by moving the skimming playhead and choosing mark, set range start, or pressing I. And you can adjust the selection out point by moving the skimming playhead and choosing mark, set range end, or pressing O. Now you can delete your selection with shift delete or just delete on an external keyboard, leaving a gap clip. If you press delete on your Mac keyboard, it will delete the entire clip, leaving two clips. If you want to trim your clip to the selection, just choose trim, trim selection, or press option backslash. The third essential tool is the blade tool, and you can activate it by selecting it from the tool pop-up menu or just pressing B and is indicated with scissors. Skim your clip and click where you want to make a cut. You can quickly switch back and forth to the blade tool from another tool with command B. Press A to go back to the select tool, skim to where you want to cut, and press command B. Now we have two clips and I still have the select tool active. Pretty sweet. I'll show this in action in just a bit. If you have a stack of clips, you can cut them all at once by activating the blade tool and pressing B and then hold down shift. The scissor icon changes to indicate that it will cut all the clips under the skimming playhead. Hold down shift, move your skimming playhead, and click. All the clips are cut in the same spot. You can also cut only clips you've selected. Press A and select a few clips you want to cut. Move the main playhead or skimming playhead where you want to make the cut and press command B. Only your selected clips were cut. Nice! If you want to undo a cut, but it's deep in your undo history, just select the clips and choose trim, join clips. Unfortunately, there's no keyboard shortcut for this one. Joining clips will only work with clips from the same media 
and the start and end points have to match up. You can't join two clips from different sources or join clips when the start and end points have been changed. Are you ready to cut footage and edit in Final Cut Pro? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so others can see this video. Thanks! Using the shortcuts I showed you earlier, we can make a quick rough cut. Put all your clips you want in the timeline and then start playback from the beginning. As it's playing, I'll use trim start, option left bracket and trim end, option right bracket a lot. As my playhead comes to the area I want the clip to start, I'll press option left bracket and when it's in the area where I want the end, I'll press option right bracket. It doesn't have to be exact because this is a rough cut and I'm just interested in getting the clips down to the approximate length. Later I'll show you how to fine tune the clips. Play through all your clips quickly, setting start and end points with the shortcuts. You can also use Command B to cut your clips during playback and then select the cuts you don't want and delete. Now that you've got a rough cut, let's fine tune it with the precision editor. Select a start or end point and choose view show precision editor or press Control e or double click on an edit point the top clip is the outgoing clip and the bottom clip is the incoming clip and the darkened sections are media and room you have to play with that don't show up on the timeline you can drag the clips to set new start and end points or skim and click to set the new start or end point this vertical line is the edit point and you can move it by dragging it left or right you can also use a comma to nudge it left one frame at a time or move it right one frame at a time with period. This is great to fine tune your cut. You can move from point to point by clicking the other edit points. To exit, choose view, hide precision editor, press control E or double click on an edit point or just press escape. You can also fine tune your cuts in the main timeline. Use the up arrow to move left to edit points and then use the left and right arrow keys to move one frame at a time until you find where you want your start or end point. Then press option left bracket for a start point or option right bracket for an end point. If you hold shift while you press the arrow keys, you'll move 10 frames at a time. Wow, oh, these cuts look great. Now that you've learned how to cut footage in Final Cut Pro, you may want to check out this video I made called how to blend two videos in Final Cut Pro. I share seven different ways to blend videos, including one-click blending. Click here to check it out.